I'll call the special meeting of the Board of Education to order for standard 11 pledge by myself. Meeting. 
there were still negotiations going on. Uh, those things don't just come about unless we have people of goodwill who come together and good things happen. And that's what happened this time. It was able to save both not closing the school and uh, keeping our four-day kindergarten program. So I want to thank you again very much to everybody on the team, especially to this board today. Uh, remember, they're volunteers. The rest of us get paid. But the board today has stuck with this and has, has followed these uh, negotiations from beginning to end and uh, resulting in what happened here today. I also want to reach out and say thank you to your nice representative, Mr. De Stefano. Uh, he did an excellent job with our lead negotiator, David Shaw. He put in many, many long hours and uh, many phone calls, and uh, many of us were contacting each other on weekends, and uh, it didn't make any difference whether it was Monday through Friday or Saturday or Sunday. And that's how these things get done. It's a lot of hard work on the part of a lot of people. And last but not least, I want to thank my, not only the board of ed for their participation, but the central office team that worked uh, many, many nights late into the night being, being available to the negotiating teams for information. So it was a team effort. Everybody came together and good things happened. So I thank each and every one of you. Thank you. Resolution F, to authorize the board president to executive facility rental agreement with 
Hudson Valley Renegades for a NFA baseball game April 29, 2013. Can I have a motion? So moved. Second. Questions or comments? Roll call. Mr. Allen? Yes. Mr. Lawson? Yes. Mr. Levinstein? Yes. Mr. Lewis? Yes. Resolution G to revise the 2012-2013 district calendar. We have a motion. Second. Questions or comments? Roll call, please. Mr. Howard? Yes. Mr. Lawson? Yes. Mr. Levenstein? Yes. Mr. Lewis? Yes. Ms. McAfee? Yes. Ms. Prostock? Yes. Ms. Brad? Yes. Mr. Woodball? Yes. Ms. Kuchek? Yes. Madam President, that ends my uh, part of the agenda tonight. Thank you, Mr. Pisa. At this time, I'd like to call the board's attention to a handout that was provided to you. You also received it in your board packet on April 15th. It's in regards to creating a high-stakes testing resolution. And at this time, I would like to have a discussion uh, on these documents. There are two resolutions that have been provided. One was from the New Falls School District, and one was from the um, Kingston School District. And based upon our discussion here this evening, if it is determined that it's the board's wishes to create a high stakes testing resolution, it will be prepared and brought up for a vote at next week's regular board meeting.
attending a rally on uh, June 8th up in Albany uh, about this. So certainly an opportunity to talk about solutions. Uh, anyone that would like information about this rally, please see Mr. Art Plicta. He is the NTA president. Um, the, and you can see him and speak with him after this meeting. He is organizing this. Nice that is paying for the buses. We've heard a lot over the last several weeks at our budget workshops and our, and our budget sessions from the community about how we all need to come together and lobby in Albany and also Washington, D.C. And I think this is a great start if we can be a part of this rally. So if anyone's interested in that, uh, please see Mr. Plipta after this meeting. He has all the information, he has flyers and everything. And um, as you all know, NYSA and the Boards of Education for New York State have been lobbying up in Albany for years now around reform for the funding of public education. We just cannot survive as public schools the way that they are choosing to fund us at this point. And Although NYSE is a very powerful force, the boards of education, over 700, 700 of us in this state, it's not enough. We need the community, we need the parents, we need all of you voters up there with us and joining forces as a team and working collaboratively to change the way that public education is currently funded.